Good morning. It's been a while since I've done one on my own. But today, I want to talk to you about superheroes and superpowers. You know about superheroes. Superman, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, on and on the list can go. And you know they all have a secret weapon or a superpower, something only they can do that gets them out of trouble or really helps them out. You think about it. Wonder Woman's got her fast speed and her magic lasso of truth or invisible airplane, all those cool things. <clears throat> Iron Man has all his gadgets. Spider-Man can shoot webs. It's all over the place. All those superpowers. Well, I'm here to tell you today about your superpower. Your Christian superpower. Then it comes from Ephesians chapter 4. And it talks about loving each other and forgiving each other. So Paul wrote this letter to the Ephesians. And people that lived in Ephesus. And that's why we call it the Ephesians. If he wrote that letter today, he'd probably call it the letter to the Piedmontians. Okay, or Oaklanders or wherever you might be at. So it was lit, written a long time ago to, to those Christians, but it applies to us today too. He told us to be like Christ, to be imitators of Christ, and to love each other and to forgive each other. Now, sometimes we get angry, don't we? The Incredible Hulk got angry and he turned green. So what do you do when you're angry? Do you feel like you need help? Everybody gets angry, and that's all right. Paul doesn't tell the Ephesians not to get angry. Instead, he gives them two superpowers, two secret weapons they can use when they start to feel angry. The first one is love. Paul tells the Ephesians to love each other, that God gave us. They need to imitate Christ and love each other. He says, be tender-hearted, be kind. Sounds simple, doesn't it? I know it's not. Well, sometimes we forget to look at ways or even get with pe even with people that make us mad. And that brings us to our second weapon because we don't want to look to get even. The second weapon is really powerful and it's our true superpower. If you learn to use it, you will be a superhero. You don't have to be big and strong to use your superpower. You just have to practice. This powerful secret weapon is forgiveness. Sometimes, maybe even most of the time, it's really hard to forgive somebody when we're angry. But you'll be surprised if you work at it. You will discover it. Once you give forgive someone, the other person feels better and so do you. It sounds impossible, but let's give it a try. Next time we get angry, let's look for a way to forgive. It might be hard at first, and it does take practice. And I can tell you, even I have trouble with it and have to work at it a bit. But we can do it with God's help. We can love each other and we can forgive each other. So when we get angry at somebody this week, let's remember the word forgiveness. Take a deep breath and think about a way you can forgive them.